Hello friends, myself Ravi and welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, we will take a look on how we can communicate between the components and how we can transfer data between the component by using add the rate input decorator. So without getting late, let's get started. So in the previous video, we have seen that decorator are of four types that is class decorator, property decorator, method decorator and parameter decorator. And in property decorator, we have add the rate input decorator and add the rate output decorator. So these both decorator are used to interact with the component. So we can transfer the data between components using this add the rate input and add the rate output decorator. So I have prepared one chart to give you a better idea about the transfer of data between the component. So if you see this is suppose a parent component and this is the child component so there can be two options available to transfer the data one is to transfer the data from parent to the child component right and another is to transfer data from child component to parent component in order to transfer the data from parent component to child component we use add the rate input decorator and in order to transfer the data from child component to parent component, we use add the rate output decorator. In this tutorial, we will see how we can implement add the rate input decorator. So again, let me remind you, add the rate input decorator is used to transfer data from parent component to the child component. Now let's go to our VS code and try to implement it. So first of all, we will create one child component. Okay. So let's create one child component NGGC child. Okay. Press enter. It will take a couple of seconds to create a new component. So you can see here one child component is created. So this root app root component that is app.component.css, HTML, TS, these are the root component, right? So this is a parent component and this one that we have created is the child component. Okay. So let's first select this child component. So in order to add the selector, you can see here we have this selector app child, right? So let's go to app.component.html and add this app child. Okay. Now let me compile the code. So we will see the content of this child component into this parent component. Okay. So if you see here, right, you can see we have called this child component here, right? Now let's go to our VS code and change this text to, let's say, this is child component okay child component fine now let's add one property in app.component.ts that is let's say course okay and give value as angular tutorial okay now here let's bind to a property let's say available course property okay available course and then equals to double quotes let's bind course okay So now what we have done, we have created one property here, available course, 
and we have binded this to this course property that we had created here and whose value is angular tutorial now what we want we want to transfer this data to our child component okay so let's do that so what we will do we will create one property this available course into the child okay so now we are sending this data from the parent component and in order to receive this data into the child component what we need to do in the child.component.ts let's add at the rate give small bracket and then add this property that is available course okay and now let's initiate with double quotes and in the child.component.ts let's bind this property okay so bind the property available course now let's go to our ui and see you can see this angular tutorial here right so that's how you can transfer the data from parent to the child component by using at the rate input decorator make sure you have imported this input here now this is the name that you have given to the property that is available course if you want to make changes to this name what you can do you can add double quotes and you can put this name here now you can name the property according to your own choice so let's name angular course okay and in the child.component.html let's give the name as angular course now if i go to ui you can see it's still working right so that's how you can use add the rate input decorator to transfer the data from parent component to child component okay in the next video we will see how we can use add the rate output decorator to transfer the data from child component to the parent component that's it for this video if you have any doubts regarding this tutorial please comment it below i will definitely try to answer it if you haven't subscribed my channel please do subscribe my channel to get more updates thanks and have a nice day